the redistricting process. I'm sure you're already really involved in that, where the political boundaries are drawn. Uh, amendments in five and six, constitutional amendments five and six, were uh, really developed to avoid gerrymandering. And uh, so tell us how you feel about how the process has gone thus far and if you have any concerns about uh, what could happen in terms of the fairness of the boundaries. Well, there's always concerns. I mean, when you're talking about it, this is the most political process that we do as a legislature, and that's drawing those lines. And personalities come and personal interests come. I mean, it's not only through the political parties, but even within members of caucuses that may wind up fighting over certain areas or being put in certain areas. So I'm, I'm concerned whenever man is doing something so personal. Now, I am encouraged that the courts through five and six have a little more of a hammer to make sure we do the right thing. Um, we're going to draw the lines, and you know, we've started the process somewhat, but because of amendments five and six, the courts can step in a little heavier and have a little more of a hammer to make sure that we are doing the right things by the people of Florida. Do you feel that with amendments five and six and the court having a perhaps a more aggressive role, that ultimately the legislature can draw those lines without it ultimately residing in the courts? I hope the legislature can draw those lines without it going to the courts. But either way, it's going to go to the courts. No matter what we draw, there's going to be some types of challenges, and the courts are going to have to step in. And I think five and six give them more, more, more leeway into helping influence us to do the right thing and draw those lines in a fair way.